We interrupt our programming. This is a national emergency. Important instructions will follow. This is an emergency action notification. All cable and broadcasting cable stations will broadcast this emergency action notification message. This station has interrupted their regularly scheduled programming by request of the Kakistani government to participate in the emergency alert system. During this emergency most stations will remain on the air providing news and information in assigned areas. This is KBC 7 News we will continue to serve the pre kakas area. If you are not in this local area please tune into a station covering news and information. You are listening to the emergency alert system serving the pre kakas area. Do not use the telephone. The telephone lines should remain open for emergency use. At 5.44 a.m. Western Standard Time, the Kakistani Aerospace Defense Command detected a single Normistani missile. This missile is thought to be heading in the direction of pre and it is thought to be carrying a nuclear warhead. The missile is expected to impact in less than 15 minutes. Although it is not likely that the missile will impact the pre kekas area but as a precaution take the following actions bring food, water, clothing, a battery powered radio, medical supplies, bring enough food and supplies to last 14 days. If able seek a fallout shelter if you cannot head to the lowest level of your home preferable a basement, Fallout is a byproduct of nuclear explosions, and it can spread for hundreds of miles. Prolonged exposure to fallout will result in death. Take a battery powered radio with you to your shelter. Tune into 770 AM for further information regarding this incoming attack during the duration of your stay in your shelter. Don't attempt to evacuate, it's too late to evacuate. I repeat it's too late to evacuate, if you are on the road pull over immediately and take cover in the closest building or other shelter and head to the lowest floor and prepare for impact. The Kakistani Aerospace Defense Command also detected the landing of Normistani and Kakistani troops in the following locations, Kipento, Shenkizer, Derenengrad, along with these locations. A Kakistani droid army has made it as far inland as California.
Looks like an invasion fleet, sir. We're caught out here in the open. Get the men off this landing pad and beyond the city gates. We interrupt our broadcasting by request of the Kakistani government and the Department of Defense. As of 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Kakistani intelligence confirmed that Kakistan and Normiston have invaded Kakistani soil and are liquidating the local civilian populations and towns and villages near the vicinity of the Normistani and Kakistani border. Due to this event Kalkistani Parliament has convened an emergency session with President Tyrone at this time President Tyrone is in a secure location. Western Kalkistan is being overwhelmed. The Normies have nearly made it to the Papulous River which threatens the city of Tiranagrid at this time all citizens of Tiranagrid and surrounding suburbs seek shelter immediately. Those who are able-bodied are being formed into citizens malicious to fight off the normy menace. At this time not all cities that are under threat are undergoing the same citizens mobilization order to fight off the enemies of our nation. President Big Man Tyrone or one of his representatives will give an address to the nation within the next 30 minutes. Oh shit, the cucks have found this station and are about to break down the door. This is KBC 7 News signing off tune into surrounding news stations. This is KBC 7 News signing off. Praise Kek. No no no, please. We are unarmed. We surrender. Mercy. God has mercy. I don't. No no, please. We interrupt our broadcasting by request of the Kalkistani government and the Department of Defense. As more and more of Kalkistan falls to the Normistani and Kalkistani Blitzkrieg, President Tyrone is pondering on if he should enact Executive Order 4859. This would mean that all able-bodied men between the ages of 18 to 42 would be drafted to serve in the armed forces to push the normies and cucks out of Kalkistan. This just confirmed that the general leading the Normistani 6th Army is the infamous General Chuck Schumer, and the general leading Kalkistani forces on the Cacafornian front in southern Kalkistan is the cyborg known as Don Lemon. This whole invasion seems like it was planned for many months as are some of our best generals have been stationed on Kakpura after Premier Biden escaped there after our invasion at Kakmandi. Right now our generals Cruz and Jones and their units of troops have been alerted about the situation, but no response has returned from them as of yet. 
Right now all able-bodied citizens of Kokistan must leave their shelters and gather any weapons to use in self-defense. If any Normie or Cock soldiers enter your shelter, defend yourself and your loved ones. This is an emergency alert notification serving the Tiranagrad area furnishing news and information as it becomes available. This is an emergency action notification. Important information will follow. We interrupt our programming at the request of the Kikistani government. At this time the president or one of his advisors will give a speech on all stations. Stay tuned to this station. Should this station go off the air, please tune into surrounding news stations which are furnishing news and information about this dangerous situation. Ladies and gentlemen, the president of Kikistan, Big man Tyrone. My fellow Kikistanis, I know this may be difficult to hear but, our nation is being overwhelmed by this surprise attack by our neighbors in the west. To counter this I've enacted executive order 4859 meaning that a nationwide draft has been enacted for all Kikistanis above the ages of 18 to 42 to join the Kikistani military to fight off the communist normie invaders. I've placed General Jeff Sessions in charge of the defense of Tyrone Grad due to General Cormac still recovering from his wounds he suffered at Normigrad. Due to the invasion General Cormac and the God Emperor have been evacuated to Kikopolis for further recovery. Admiral Felius Rex V. Norden was with Generals Ted Cruz and Alex Jones on Cuckbill along with their legions of troops. They have been ordered to immediately return to Kikistan in order to save our country from annihilation. Due to the launching of nuclear weapons at the city of Brikekus which has left 60% of the city destroyed and untold numbers of dead or wounded, we have launched a retaliatory strike at Kikistani and Normistani cities to repay our dead and wounded in blood. At this time I've just received word that the city of Kekifornia was overrun by the Kikistani's droid army. Kikistani troops have been ordered to fall back across the Silver Gated Bridge. All citizens living in Kekifornia will be advised. All Kikistani troops have been ordered to fall back outside of the city. All citizens who can gather weapons and form into militias and fight within the city. Those who cannot take up arms. Remain in your shelters unless ordered otherwise by Kikistani military personnel. These are difficult times but we will get through them together as one nation. To quote the God Emperor's persist and resist speech after the successful evacuation of our troops from the Dunkek Parkit. We shall not flag or fail. We shall go on to the end. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. We shall defend our nation, whatever the cost may be. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender. To all military personnel, and those who are fighting in Tyrone Grad and all over Kikistan, my message to you is this. You are about to begin the greatest chapter of your lives. The Normans have lost tens of thousands of tanks and planes. Their dash to the populace has left their supply lines overstretched and vulnerable due to this Soros's brutalized hordes are now advancing towards Tyrone Grad and Brikekus over mountains over their own dead bodies. Our Kikistani party, our nation and our great country have given us the task not to let the Normans reach the Pepilus River and for you to defend the city of Tyrone Grad forward against the enemy comrades. For our great country, do not count days, do not count miles, count only the number of normies you have killed. Kill the normies, this is your mother's prayer. Kill the normies, this is the cry of our Kikistani earth. Do not waver, do not let up, kill, death to the normie invaders. Stay safe and may God bless Kikistan. 
that was a national address from the president. Please stay tuned for more information pertaining to this dangerous and scary situation. We interrupt our programming at the request of the Kalkistani government, the Department of Defense and the Kalkistani military. This is a national emergency and this broadcast of the emergency alert system will be a national broadcast on all channels. As of this moment with the forming of citizen militias due to the enacting of Executive Order 4859. All able-bodied civilians from the ages of 18 to 42 are being asked to join their local militias or join the armed forces to fight off the Normi and Kakistani invaders. At this time about 37% of Kakistan has been overrun by the Splitskrieg. Our armies are holding the Normies and Kaks back, especially in the martyred city of Tyrone Grad which has been bombed relentlessly by the Normistani Air Force. If you are a citizen in Tyrone Grad take cover immediately, if you are part of the militia remain with your unit. Due to the ongoing crisis a state of emergency has been declared along with martial law going into effect until further notice, at this time all citizens, who are not able to join a militia or the armed forces are advised to remain in your shelters. Make sure you have food, water, medical supplies, clothing and a battery power radio to last you through the duration of this emergency. The MAGA volunteers have been deployed along with National Guard units to defend unaffected cities. And to all Kakistanis under Normi or Kakistani occupation, keep fighting with whatever you can get your hands on whether those weapons are guns, knives, shovels, hammers or even your bare hands. Form a organized resistance to fight for not only your livelihoods but do it for those who cannot, as you shall inspire hope for them to continue the struggle against the enemy. Kukistan stands with all who are suffering under foreign occupation. May God bless all Kukistan and may God help us in our armed struggle for survival. part about our job with these boring strategy conferences. Cheer up, Anakin. This is your chance to voice all your complaints about military protocol. And it looks as though we can finally get underway. I will inform Master Windu the last straggler has arrived, while you work on your attitude. Isn't that ship coming in a little too fast? Have you been able to contact their captain? Z9 says he cannot make contact with anyone. Uh, where's R2 when I need him? We are scanning a large amount of Rhydonium on that ship. It's a bomb. Team out there now! Yes, sir. 